that blow up, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with that blow up, Hey. Yo, Jew, what it is, man? What it do, man? It's your boy, Yo, Jew. You know, we live with Kodak Blood, man. You feel me? Shout out Kodak Blood, man. We, you know, we're going crazy right now. You hear me? Appreciate that, man. Yeah, Yo, sure. we were supposed to do this a while back, man. A minute ago, you Yeah, hear we me? just talking about that shit's crazy. How, you know, literally, we been in contact with each other. About a year and a half, I want to say. Yeah, trying yeah, to set yeah, this yeah, up. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, timing yeah. is right. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at us now. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For a reason, for me. Yeah, for sure, for so. sure, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I was just telling you, I want the viewers to get to know who yeah. you are as a person. So, you know, like, let them know, man, where you from, where you was born and raised and all that. Born in New York, you feel me? Grew up in Florida, man, South Orlando, man, 045 sector. Y'all know what's going on. From my nigga Scooby, man, you feel me? Okay, word up, word up. Yeah, man, free Scooby, man. Yeah, I did an so, interview with him as well, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for I sure. saw that, I saw that, that's my dog, bro. I know cousins. Way back, you feel me? Yeah, that's what's up. Though. That's what's oh, up. So you know, living in Orlando, man. You know, for the people who are like watching this, like, what was how's Orlando to you? You know, what I'm saying, explain Orlando so people can understand it. Because they think Orlando's like obviously a tourist. It is, but yeah. you know, a lot, a good, lot of niggas bad, think you know? Orlando is Disneyland. You yeah. feel me? It ain't even that. It's just a lot of shit that happened in my. You feel me? Especially you feel me, South Orlando. A lot of shit don't be going to see. You feel me? A lot yeah. of shit niggas just move quiet out there. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, there's a lot of shit that happens that. It don't get glorified. It don't, it don't really get posted up like that. So it's just be a lot of shit going on, especially in Orlando. That shit, that's, that's like the main city was going on. You feel me? Yeah. A lot of niggas know that. So how was it though, you know, growing up to transition into now? Like, was it different when you was growing up to now? Or was it always the same? Shit was crazy. Like, growing up to now, I would never expect it to be this far. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like shit. Shit changed a lot over the years. A lot of shit changed over the years. Yeah, no, well, most definitely, especially when it comes to like all the um, attractions that they got now and everything. Because you know, sure, I, sure. I grew up. I'm from Boston. I grew up over here as well. Right. You know, I'm seeing how everything is now. You know what I'm saying? It's it done changed a lot. A lot of things changed. I'm talk, talking about yeah, from like yeah, the attractions yeah, yeah. to the neighborhoods. Everything has you know been rebuilt and all that. Yeah, but, for sure, for sure. For sure. So sure. not for sure. So you know, like you know, growing up, what type of music was you into? Was you always into rap? Or did you have some different type of taste in music? Man, I don't like it. And if you got a DMX shirt on too, so I'm pretty sure you know DMX. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Shout out DMX, man. Yeah. RP the legend, man, you feel me? Yeah. Some crazy shit. I was supposed to go do some shit with DMX. Where too, you feel me? Where? Yeah, we were supposed to do something, but it was like I got locked up and shit, so opportunity just like disappeared in my hand, you feel me? So is he like one of your like favorite artists? Nah, I could say not my favorite, but he up there with my top ten, you feel me? Yeah. So he 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 valid as fuck though. Shit he be saying is real. Nah, for sure, for sure. He's a legend in his own his own way and everything. Sure. Definitely is, man. Especially back in the day with the locks and everything. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? That whole Rough Rider game was fucking ridiculous. It's crazy as fuck. Them niggas ripping shit for real. Oh, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. They had that whole biker scene and shit. On, on lock. They yeah. got on lock. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, with that being said and everything, you know, you just said DMX, you know, you like listening to him. Is there any shit. other artists? I really say, we could say 50, DMX. You know what I'm saying? Fab, pop, pop smoke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mainly, yeah, it's mainly who the fuck I live. And Dave East, famous shot Dave. So you really into like the New York scene, like music? Yeah, you don't I'm, really I'm from, I'm from New York. Yeah. I'm from Queens, I fuck with Florida niggas too. I fuck you, feel me? Fuck that he ain't talk. I fuck with Rico. You know what I'm saying? Woo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? YGB Toby. I fuck all them niggas. YGB Toby, that's my man's man's right there, famous shot YGB. Well, that being said, you know, what's, what's in your personal perspective, what's the difference in the music? You know, obviously you got the drill scene right now in New York going yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like, what, what's your more, more, more uh, leaning towards? Do you like lean more towards the drill music or I'm more? Like, I'm like both. Like, you feel me? I don't just consider myself as a rapper. I'm an artist, you feel me? Yeah. I can do many things, you know what I'm saying? If I fucking feel like I do a country song. And that shit would go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's good to be you know versatile saying? like that, man. How, what made you actually start thinking like that, though? You know, a lot of people, they, they be one-minded when it comes to a lot of stuff, especially yeah, music, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They, nah. To strictly, strictly be on, like, one type of wave, you know what I'm saying? You're saying, like, you know, even if you wanted to make country, you could do that. Like, what gave you the mindset of doing that? You always had that mindset growing up? Like, always. Like, you feel me? You can't, you can't just stick to one thing. One thing is only going to sell for so long, you feel me? You yeah. can't just stick to one thing. You got to, you feel me, really, really do something different. That's how niggas really blow up, is by doing shit different. You do yeah. something different, expect different outcomes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, so, for sure. Different viewers, you know, shit like that. For sure. Well, when, when you uh, was younger, did you already have like a mindset of wanting to be a rapper? Did you was you already rapping? What started you to want to start rapping? Shit, I was in, I was in my nigga's crib, and we used to record on his phone over SoundCloud. And one time he just threw on a beat. He was like, "Yo, bro, rap over this shit." He was in, he was just yeah. Trying like, bro, let's go. 
How old Ever you? since that, I was like, probably like 13. So you've been, you've been wanting 13, to. just rapping over, you feel yeah. me, beats on SoundCloud, like how, how they used to do back in the day. Yeah. That's how I was doing music, just like that. So off the phone? Off really? the phone, off the phone, no headset, no nothing, just rapping over the phone like this. And downloading it on SoundCloud? And downloading it on SoundCloud, just yeah. like that. And the music still there? Hell nah, that shit gone. <laughs> that shit gone. That's crazy. No, so how was the transition though? Because I'm pretty sure, you know, obviously you sort of ended up getting into like a regular studio if now, you know, with a mic, you know, what was that transition like? That shit was crazy. When I first went into the studio, I seen a mic and I was just talking. That shit just felt, it's like something I was like, damn, I could do this all day. Like I could just vent. It's like ventilation. Yeah. Like you express everything on a mic. No holding back. You feel me? Yeah. So ever since then, I was like, yeah, I could do this. This is go. What was the first song that you actually were on recording off a of studio? I remember my first song. It was over. It was over. Who got shot by Biggie? Free instrumental. That shit was funny as fuck. Who shot you? That's that's the instrumental. Who shot yeah, you? Yeah, I rapped shot. over that. I think Fifty Cent was the um the the one you just said the first one. I think Fifty Cent had one just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was like who who got who got shot or something. Some like, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it was over a Biggie beat. That was I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, who shot you? That's the first time I ever rapped. It was over so there. your first song was basically like a freestyle, basically. And yeah. It was like obviously it's like the meaning of what was going on. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's crazy as hell. Like he was just like, "Fuck it, I'm going all in." I'm gonna, just, in this I'm gonna just try this bit for one time. If I like it, I like it. If I that don't was, was the reaction to everybody when they first heard the song, though. Shout out to Jay. So you know, I'm showing different people. Like niggas, I just I was hanging out with. They say, "Oh, that shit slide, keep going, keep going." So now, like the transition from then to now, yeah. it's like that shit crazy. You feel me? It's like niggas really doing something. That's fire. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell everybody, yeah. everybody want to be the king. You got to be the, you got to be the prince first before to be the king. You feel me? No, nah, it's definitely true, man. You got to work your way up, and you know what I'm saying. You definitely got to work your way up from you know when you start making music. Exactly. I'm pretty sure when you first heard your music, it was like something that you're like looking at it now, like damn, I sounded like that. To like now to your music, how you know you're yeah, comfortable, yeah. how your vocals sound. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know how your visuals is and everything like that. For sure, for sure. 